Hey guys, Mike Morrison, tailgatefix.com. Here, Jim and I are gonna demonstrate for you today uh, our split gate override switch. We have the uh, GMC Denali 1500 series truck. We have our automatic version of our split gate override switch installed on the truck. But this is how the truck is normally. Jim's gonna demonstrate. You drop the tailgate, and the mid gate goes down to enjoy that new feature. But you can see here, if you had a hitch in the receiver of your truck, it would cream into that hitch. So what we're gonna do is show you how our split gate override switch eliminates that problem. All Jim's doing is gonna install the hitch in the receiver, just like you would normally. And as soon as that's installed, our split gate override switch detects it's there. He lowers the gate. When he tries to lower the mid gate, you see nothing but the lights flashing. So we've just protected that tailgate. He simply raises it back, removes the hitch. The switch says there's nothing there, it's safe to use. He punches the tailgate. When he punches the mid gate to drop it, it drops down normal. Simple as that, guys. That's how our split gate override switch protects your 1500 or 2500 GMC truck. You drop the tailgate, and the mid gate goes down to enjoy that new feature. But you can see here, if you had a hitch in the receiver of your truck, it would cream into that hitch. So what we're gonna do is show you how our split gate override switch eliminates that problem. Tailgatefix.com here again with Jim. Jim and I are here gonna demonstrate our manual version of our split gate override switch. We have the manual version installed. As you can see, the power button is here to control the power on and off. So now we have the power, we're gonna turn the power off so it protects your tailgate if there's a hitch in your receiver. As he drops it, punches the button, you can see the mid gate does not go down and the lights just flash, letting you know that it's controlled. So we just protected your tailgate from that hitch. He's punching the button to turn the power back on, drops the tailgate normal, and the mid gate goes down just like it should. So that demonstrates how the manual version works. The main thing is the manual version does just that. It allows you to manually control the power to the mid gate of this multi-pro tailgate by simply punching the button on the switch. Whereas our automatic version automatically does that for you. So if you're the type that likes to use the multi-pro mid gate when the tailgate's up for putting stuff in and out of your tailgate, the manual switch may be the option for you because you simply can use it while the tailgate's up. If you're the type that likes to put a decorative receiver cover on the outside of your receiver and it has a locking pin that goes in, the manual version might be for you because the automatic version would think there's a hitch in the receiver. So these are the reasons you might want a manual versus the automatic. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.